Welcome to Entertainment Weekly's Comic Con Studio. I'm Sam Heifel, and I'm joined now by the cast, the executive producers of the Winchesters. Yeah. Did you like that? I made a little fun. I made a little jazzy. Nice. Um, okay, well, we'll start at the origin of this, which I know takes me to Jensen and Danielle. It's 2020. You're sitting at home. But my question is, you just spent 15 years doing a thing, right? Many a person in this industry would be like, what is the furthest from that thing from that I could do, right? What made you want to uh, delve back into this world? You go with what you know, Sam. <laughs> you just, that's, Sir? you go with what you know. And we knew this. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we were still in, you know, I was still in the super, we hadn't finished the show because right. of, of the pandemic. We, we pressed pause with two episodes left to go in the series. And so it was still very much in that mindset. And, and, and it just started, it kick-started this conversation of, you know, what, why hasn't it been expanded? What would that look like? Um, we know there's been a, a few attempts in the past, but um, uh, for whatever reasons that, that, that didn't happen. And so we just started kind of spitballing and workshopping things. And, and it wasn't just that. We were talking about a, a multitude of things. But this one kind of landed. And, and we started, we were like, oh, wait a second. I don't know who well, said I think it. you but. said, um, you know, if this, what would I want to watch? Personally, mm -hmm. like, what mm -hmm. would you want to watch personally? And you said, well, I feel like it has to have a Winchester. It's, it has to have a Winchester. And so... So, just... get it, yeah, getting to unpack the story of where this character that I've played for 15 years came from and mm -hmm. got his DNA from. Like, what, what does that look like? And then it she looks was, like that. And it looks like this. <laughs> yeah. Right. And it looks like this. And Super that. attractive DNA. Yeah. <laughs> White hot DNA. Winner. Uh, and... <laughs> And that's uh, and and that's kind of what what got the the ball rolling on this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Robbie, I'll throw to you because obviously you were part of this world. Then you exited the world. What made you want to come back for this? I, I just really wanted to come back to New York Comic Con, and I felt like this was the path of least resistance. And I mean, honestly, I crushed it. So. So after this, you're done. Like yeah. you should let them know yeah. you're. Yeah. Yeah. You're I mean, the scripts are done. So it was really nice meeting you guys. Mic drop, especially Jensen. Uh, no, you know, it's it, when. When when Dean Winchester and Sister Joe get, uh, drive up uh, and say, uh, you know, get in, loser, we're going shopping, uh, yes. you, you get in. Um, it, you know, I was I was really you know excited about. It, it was like I think it was an email that you had sent me. It was like two two or three lines. But my first question was what, how, and then I was like, oh, well, that's my job. Right, um, right. You know, and then we just started talking <laughs> about it uh, alongside you know uh, their partner Renee and and we just. It, 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 it was very quickly apparent that my fears about it, all of our fears about it, there was about 10 or 15 different ways that we could approach this without, without undoing anything from Supernatural. And mm -hmm. then, again, that was the sort of sweet spot for me creatively on Supernatural. Was when, when was it scary? When was it exciting? And this was both scary and exciting. And yeah. it got me back to New York Comic Con. So. <laughs> yeah. And I here mean, we are. Speaking of New York Comic Con, have you all had like the Supernatural fan reaction yet for you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Wait, here at Supernatural? Or in general, oh, but yeah, here, in sure. General, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and here as well. I'm so excited for our panel. It's going to be so incredible. Yeah. I'm so excited. Um, but this is our both of our first times here at New York Comic Con, so um, it's been incredible and mm -hmm. such an honor. Yeah. Have you, like, have you prepared them for... No, no, no. That'd <laughs> no be doing them. You. That'd be doing them any favors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, this is just in, into the, into the shark-infested pool. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Um, were you always narrating? Oh yes, that yeah. was okay. a big selling point for me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, and I thought that was that was a um, that was just a nice tether to the mothership that that had some familiarity to it. Sure. Um, and so yeah, that was that was part of the original the original pitch. Okay. Yeah. Um, obviously, this is a love story. Um, <laughs> Perhaps. Oh, spoiler! Laptop. Spoiler! <laughs> yeah, give it a minute. Give it a minute. What do you What do you guys feel like they bring out in each other? The worst. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it's 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 tough working with Meg. You know, <laughs> trying to find the chemistry has been really difficult to build. Um, but no, I think I think I think John brings out a childlike energy out of Mary that I don't think you'd otherwise see. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think Mary brings brings out this fantasy that John gets to live of being like a cool John Wayne, like badass, get to run around 
chop heads off of monsters. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's really cool. I think they're very different people, but they have very similar upbringings um, in um, like how they were raised. Um, so I think um, it's really, really, in I mean, not the hunting part, of course, <laughs> um, but um, kind of everything that they've been through, they really, really relate to each other in that way. And even though it's so different, it is so similar. Um, and I think that's really awesome. And also um, their communication is, it's really interesting to see how they show their love for each other, but not really saying it because um, mm -hmm. they have a hard time doing that because of everything they've been through. So sure. that's been really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Danielle, I'm coming to you because why New Orleans? Why not? <laughs> you know, I've I've always loved New Orleans. I think that there's, and now that you guys are all there, there is an air to New Orleans that just is haunting. Yes. You know, and it, it puts a haunt. Humid oh, air. You should, and hot, humid, yes. you should let them know you're a, a native Louisiana. And, I and am a native Louisiana gal. Danielle um, is literally a street and a park in I New Orleans. I saw that the other day, yes. and I was like, ah. Yep. It's, it's my happy haunting place. <laughs> um, but no, I just, you know, we really, as you wrote it in, yeah. um, Robbie wrote it in and, um, you know, we just ended up there and it's, it's, it's an incredible place because it also has all that small town, um, you know, it still has the diners. It still has just right outside of New Orleans. You can find everything that sort of looks back like it did in the fifties. You know, um, I mean, we all love Vancouver, um, and, but we needed that sort of timeless quality that Danielle's talking about. We yeah. needed to have that, that kind of thing. And, and we also, we have one of the best crews. I mean, they're mm. just phenomenal. It's, and it's, it's been really great to, I'd only been there once before, but I, I love it. Yeah. Let's talk tone, Robbie. What kind of tone are you trying to? I know you have to. Don't you have to put together like a tone pitch. What was the tone pitch for this? Uh, we have tone meetings for every oh, uh, for every go. episode. Um, you know, I, I think it. for me yeah, the it's thing like a that C flat. <laughs> yeah. uh. um, it's kind of up here. No, I, I I think the thing that I always loved about Supernatural was that it could live in a lot of different tones. You sure. know, you could be heartbreaking one moment, hilarious the next, and horrifying after that. And we really kind of wanted to find that sweet spot that Supernatural, you know, always kind of had at its own core. At the same time, you know, Supernatural was a two-hander for a long time, yeah. you know, and eventually there was this, you know, cast of characters. But we're starting from jump from quite a few different, with, with, with quite a few different voices. And that lent itself to some other different types of tones that we kind of got to eventually. But we're, we're starting from there. And, and we're really, really fortunate to have just a fantastic, lights out, amazing cast, and yeah. not just these two amazing humans, but you know, uh, you know, Jojo and Nita and Demetria and Bianca, they've all just brought everything that I always loved about Supernatural to life uh, from the pilot on. Yeah. Okay, well, Jensen, we know you're in the first episode. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> that's not me, there's the, there, I'm sure you see those cardboard cutouts of me. Mm. It's, that's, that's what that I is. See I've one in my office. Everywhere. Yeah, I've yeah. got quite a few in my house. Um, <laughs> no. Um, I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but between like the COVID shutdown and then going back to filming Supernatural was like the longest break you'd had of, like from playing Dean Winchester ever? Yes. So was this a longer break? Like from that to winter? Like what was it like to put on his boots again? Yeah, this would have been a longer break. Um, it was, uh, so uh, there were a few things from the wardrobe department when, um, when episode 20 of season 15 came to an end that went missing. Um, Real shame. And <laughs> I didn't know why. Yeah. They just, it, they just went missing and, and somehow managed to turn up when I was required to show back up on camera. <laughs> Vincent brought a car full of things, including a car. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, you just, sometimes you don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, so, yeah, putting those boots back on uh, and, and, you know, slipping that jacket back on. Was, there was um, a tear. There, <laughs> there wasn't a tear. There was. He brought that with him, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just dropped it there right there and be like, let it go. Yeah. Let it run. Uh, it was it's always great. It's I, I look, uh, this character is a part of a part of me and, and will be with me forever. It's it's yeah. just he's kind of ingrained in me. So to get to to get to slip back into that. Uh, that character is, uh, is always fun. Yeah. On the day was like gonna rain. Mm -hmm. And then, do you remember this? Oh Jensen drives up, and honest to goodness, a rainbow comes out. <laughs> and I have a picture of the rainbow hitting him on his head. 
Um, it was it was like come on really, but it was amazing. It, it was. was like it was like every, and like everybody on the crew was like very quietly taking out their phones and like taking pictures because <laughs> yeah. it was it was Dean. It was it was insane. It was crazy. Yeah, how far in are you all in filming at this point? Seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Filming seven right now. Start episode. What's about? your favorite episode so far? <clears throat> oh. All of them. Yours is four, huh? <laughs> they've all they've all been really really good, but um, four I'm I'm excited for fans. Yeah. To see. Okay. Um, you hate I, four. Yeah, I cannot <laughs> stand. No, I'm really excited. Four was so much fun to film. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited for people. I mean, in episode two, just to tease the second episode, we go undercover. But like in the 70s, it's so much fun. So I'm really excited t for people to see that episode two. Yeah. Yeah. Do you all at this point feel like you have like a solid grip on these characters, who they are? I think so. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, think so. yeah, yeah. It is. It's a lot of fun. And I, I think we're starting to find our groove and our flow and how we, how we go about it. But then, um, yeah, every episode provides new challenges, though. I think that's what's really fun about yeah. shows like this. I will say, we see in the trailer, you get to say saving people hunting thing. Uh. Was that stressful? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I, think I was, was sweating. I was like, oh, <laughs> come on, man. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> he just came and kept doing line reads the whole time. Yeah. He was off camera, just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, it was, it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it wasn't stressful. It was really cool. It was the first day of filming, I think. Yeah, because mm. yeah. Bianca, yeah. Um, and it was, um, yeah, it was like getting baptized by fire, you know, like it was uh, either. There's still time to recast you here, so I had just, Robbie's over there on the phone. He's just waiting for me to say it. Um, but no, was <laughs> no, it was it was amazing. I mean, there were a lot of just moments that I remember when we were filming. It was like, whoa, like they and to jump in on the question you asked them, like they've had these characters since since Jump and have only continued to grow and expand them, and they've just been amazing storytelling partners. Really, truly, special kids. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys go. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much. Thanks. Everybody else, Sam. Thank you. Stay Thank tuned you. to EW.com for all your New York Comic Con needs. <laughs>